بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم علي يحيى and I welcome you to the fifth episode of Sheikh It Up Alhamdulillah despite the unusual circumstances Shah Ramadan this time was a unique experience I pray you have all had an enjoyable Eid al-Fitr and managed to get creative with the celebrations at home and I hope after Shah Ramadan you have all taken some time out just like I have to recover and of course getting your sleep cycles back into shape and I have been taking time to play with my grandson Ali Yahya. I'm just putting away all my winter and autumn clothes. It's been quite warm these days so I thought to get my summer wear out because summer is here. Just like Mahdiya's seasonal wardrobe, where she packs away her warm winter clothes and gets out the summer ones, I find that we do have a special group of believers who can be called seasonal Muslims, or what one of my Wessex Chamaat daughters calls them as Ram Muslims, Ramadan, Eid, and Muharram Muslims. What this means is, that like Mahdi are putting away the warm clothes for winter and having ready the lighter clothes for summer, so too the seasonal Muslims become active when it's Ramadan, Eid or Muharram, that is in the Ram season. It is during the special occasions of Ramadan, Eid and Muharram that the seasonal Muslims become charged in the Ibadat devotions, have the best of the akhlaq, increase in the charity, display increased amid adherence, commitment to practicing Islam, perhaps even making sure to dress in the clothes for the occasions such as the thawb, khanzu, full hijab, even sporting a beard for Shah Ramadan or putting black dresses and Yah Hussein slogan handbands for Muharram. Sadly, at the end of these months of special occasions, it's a different story for the Ram Muslims. This different story includes a welcome back party for Shaitan. Audhu Billah. At the end of Shah Ramadan or Muharram, can the adherence and practice of our Iman be taken? in a similar manner to the change of clothes in the wardrobe due to the weather seasons? We have shown great resolve throughout Shah Ramadan and so far during the lockdown due to the epidemic. We continue adapting to different ways of life and strive hard to make the best out of these unusual moments. There are a lot of things that we have learned and performed during the Shah Ramadan. There are a lot of good habits, MashaAllah, that we have cultivated. Yes, lots of habits that were undesirable or bad we have left. We have become more vigilant about what one is doing. That is all very good, MashaAllah. After all, what were the objectives of this spiritual exercise of Shah Ramadan? Do you remember that in Ziyara of Ashura we recite, Allahumma ja'al mahyaya mahya Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad, wa mamati mamata Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. We ask for our lives at all times to be reflections of the lives of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his Ahlul Bayt This means that practicing Taqwa, becoming God consciousness, is not for specific seasons in the year. It is to be practiced at all times throughout the year. Therefore, as a Muslim, there is need for consistency in the habit of becoming Muttaqi or a God conscious person. The lack of sustaining the changes and not having consistency in commitment to living a God-conscious Muslim life 
may result in becoming one of the rare Muslims, the seasonal believers. Al Quran simply says, "La allakum tattaqun," so that you may become God conscious. And that's pretty much all that what Allah wants from you and I. In the UK, one can't pick strawberries throughout the year. Just as strawberry picking has a season, which is from April to August, can practicing taqwa or becoming God conscious be limited to a particular season? Allah Subhanahu wa Taala instructs us. وَإِنَّ صَلَاتِي وَنُسُكِي وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِي لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Our beneficent creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks that at all times, in all aspects of our life, even the final moments of dying, be for his sake to submit to his pleasure, always upholding taqwa so my dear brothers and sisters let us avoid being a ram or a seasonal muslim let's shake it up let taqwa god conscious be in season at all times i would love to hear from you as to what are you doing to have god consciousness in season throughout the year and avoid being a ram or a seasonal Muslim. Let me know by email what are the ways you are undertaking now post Shah Ramadan to continue keeping ablaze the wonderful achievements you had attained during the Shah Ramadan. Mm -hmm.